If your ice maker is underfilling, overfilling, or not filling at all, or the water is too slow coming out of the dispenser, the cause could be a defective water inlet valve. The valve can fail either electrically or mechanically. To determine if the valve has failed electrically, you should test the valve coils for continuity, which will indicate whether or not a continuous electrical path is present. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance, or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Be sure to unplug the refrigerator before you begin this test, and remove the wires from the valve coil terminals. If your refrigerator has both an ice maker and a water dispenser, the valve system will have two to four coils. Use a probe to touch one terminal of the coil you're testing, and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows a result between 500 and 1500 ohms of resistance, the coil has continuity. However, if the meter's needle does not move, or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity which means the valve has failed electrically and will need to be replaced. Determining if the valve has a mechanical defect can be more difficult. First confirm that there is sufficient water pressure to the inlet valve. To help determine this, shut off the water supply, disconnect the supply line from the inlet valve, and hold the line over a bucket. Now turn the water supply back on and observe whether or not there is a strong flow of water jetting out of the line. A weak flow indicates a problem with the water line or the water supply valve. However, if the flow is strong, the inlet valve is most likely restricted and will need to be replaced. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair.